Okay, now we're looking at an application or a model of quadratic functions, and this one is really quite interesting uh, because it really is just the underlying concept more than an application. Um, it says the polynomial function i of t, which equals this, represents the yearly income or loss from a real estate investment where t is time in years um, and the question is, after what year does income begin to decline? So suppose they purchase it and their income rises, all right, based on this real estate investment, and uh, their income rises, and then at some point it just levels off. Well, it doesn't level off, but it reaches, you know, the highest that it's ever going to reach. Then the income starts declining. They're still making money, but the income starts declining. And then suppose beyond this point, now they're losing money on this real estate investment. So our question is, what is this value? I mean, what it is conceptually is a maximum. You know, this parabola is oriented downward, so it has a maximum. If it was oriented upward, it would have a minimum, but this is a different scenario here. So what do we do? Well, all we need to do is find, in this case, the x-coordinate of the vertex, because they want to know, well, at what time t all right, they want to know at what time t uh, is this uh, income going to start declining. So they don't care about the income at all. They just want to know after how many years uh, will this um, investment start to uh, reach its maximum point and then start to decline. All right, so after this year, of course. So how do we do that? So we're just looking for the x-coordinate then of the vertex. All right, because the maximum is the vertex in this case. And it is opposite B over 2A. And in this case, uh, B is simply this right here, 1.6. So opposite B, negative 1.6 divided by 2 times A, which is this negative 0.1 factor, negative 0 0.1. All right, now I will leave you to that to perform that calculation. But it's really quite simple. All right, so the answer here, of course, is a positive quantity. Negative divided by negative is positive. So it is actually, in fact, after eight years. So after eight years, um, the um, income begins to decline. So this is year eight. So the answer here is eight years. Now, if we wanted to figure out, well, how much income are they going to get in year eight? what is the maximum amount of income they will get from this real estate investment, then all we would have to do is plug in this 8 into the income function and we'd obtain our answer. But otherwise, this is a really great application and a really easy application for minimums and maximums of quadratic functions.